Hey guys, Jason here. Today we're going to replace the drain pump on a Kenmore washer. You might need to replace the pump if the washer will not drain or spin. Before we get started, take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more repair guides to help you do it yourself. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll need a flat blade screwdriver, a putty knife, and a pair of pliers. While you're getting those together, remember that safety comes first. Go ahead and unplug the washer to prevent any risk of electrocution. You'll also want to turn off the water supply. Look at the need to get into the console, so you need to use a putty knife here. On the left and right sides, you'll see a clip that holds the console to the cabinet. Slide the putty knife under the console about an inch from each end, then push the clip towards the back of the machine. While gently prying up and pulling forward to release one side, you'll need to do the same to the other side and flip the console over. Next, we need to disconnect the lid switch. To access the drain pump, you'll see the two brass clips holding the cabinet to the back panel. Use a flat blade screwdriver and push down to release the clips. You can now tilt the cabinet forward and slide it off the frame. The pump is located dead center under the tub and is held in place with two clips. We need to use a flat blade screwdriver to pop off the clips and pull the drain pump straight out off the motor shaft. You can use the pliers to take the hose clamps off the hoses enough to remove them from the drain pump. Then take off the upper and lower hoses. It's a good idea to have a towel handy to catch any residual water. Now we can line up the hole in the back of the drain pump with the motor shaft and make sure it seats all the way down. After you do that, reinstall the clips. Then reattach the hoses with the hose clamps. When you're done, you can reinstall the cabinet and flip the console back over. Reinstall the brass clips and connect the lid switch. Then slide the tabs into the bottom of the console into the holes in the top of the cabinet. After that, just push down the console till it locks in place and you're done. Don't forget to plug the washer back in or turn your breaker back on, as well as turning the water supply back on. If you still need a replacement drain pump, head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to get a new one. Most orders arrive in two business days, and we have tons of videos to help you install your new parts. In the meantime, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you'll see all our newest videos. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.